Vulcans use a technique called Kolinar to suppress their emotions. Chill then, they're here! Obviously, I wasn't a Vulcan, so I did the next best thing. Took my feelings and shoved them down so far they may have been lost forever. Hi, Sheldon! The release of emotions, Mr. Spock, is what keeps us healthy. Dr. McCoy was an idiot. Since we'll be spending a few hours together, I've created a list of activities to keep us occupied. We'll start with a tour of my room, then board games, and if time permits, you can look at and not touch my trains. Oh, my little pony! I love my little pony. That's my sister's, and it's not part of the tour. I share a room with my sister, too. <laughs> Super fun. You're wrong. Now, over here, we have my desk. This is my computer. That's my mouse. This is my printer. This is the paper that goes in the printer. This is a box of extra paper that also goes in the printer. And this is my signed picture of Professor Proton. Do you watch a show? No, I don't really like it. You don't? I think he's boring. Mandy dumps everything down. <laughs> Come on, Colinar. Don't fail me now. And next on the tour, we have a lamp. We could play traditional chess, or if you're interested, we could play a variant with a new piece I invented. That sounds fun. What's a new piece? A wizard. The wizard cannot be taken, and at any point he can teleport and switch places with any other piece. Yes, but there's an obvious flaw. What flaw? Well, any time anyone is checkmated, they can simply have the wizard and their king switch places, so the game will never end. I knew that. You passed my test. Do you actually believe in the multiverse theory? Very much so. It's the most elegant interpretation of quantum mechanics. So you really think there are an infinite number of universes? Stephen Hawking believes it, so yes, I do. Well, if there are an infinite number of universes, I think that theory is dumb in all of them. <laughs> this is fun. I don't get to have discussions like this with kids at my school. Do you? No. Do you ever wish you were just like everyone else? Not at all. <laughs> Me neither. I love being smarter than everyone. Me too. I started to think that Paige and I might have more in common than I thought. Maybe my mother was right. I really did just need to get to know her better. Checkmate. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> Red alert. Phaser, stand by to fire on my order. Guess that makes me the smartest. I don't know if 10-year-old Spock ever flipped a chessboard, but 10-year-old Sheldon sure did.